Hi. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a surface, right? There is lots of options in the surface. And this one is the one which is visible over here. And some of them are really, uh, some of them are hidden. So, I'm going to show you how to use the extrude function in this case. Okay. And there is lots of other uh, branch option inside that extrude. So, we are going to check over all of these, right? And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to how to perform or operate with other options like feed, volume, break, and plane, let, all those things. So first things that I'm going to show you is glide and sweep functions, right? How to work on glide and sweep functions. So let's see sweep function for the first. For that we need oh uh, we need a 3d points or say what we need a curve right um from 3d points we have to create a curve and from that curve we have to create surface as i have already created a, a points right uh, which i will take from here right so i'm just importing the csv file i have created the i have created the csv file and from there from there i am importing Okay, here I have created uh, for the sweep and glide coordinate. Here we got this one. Okay, if you want to practice, then you can just take these coordinate systems and follow my path. Okay, that's okay. After that, look, if you don't have CSV file. Then what you can do is to put a, uh, put the data over here like this one and again pressing this one and if you enter if you click enter then again you you will have next column uh, next row and in that next row you can put the data in a similar way you can just go ahead and enter multiple uh, multiple uh, points over there. So now we are going to create a curve, right? Then after that, we are going to use the functions, which is called sweep and glide. So first, uh, we have to create a curve. To create a curve, go and create. Okay, I have selected the polyline. You have to remember this one, right? As I want interpolated lines, so I'm going to go and select the interpolated from here after selecting the interpolated okay okay now we are going to create a polyline once you have uh, finished with the uh, creation of the curve just click the middle mouse button so that um, it will be complete and and if you don't want to create another uh, create uh, another curve, then again again press the middle mouse button and it will be deselected. Now we are going to create a sweep, right? Just select one, one curve, and middle middle click, and then after again select the another curve and middle click. Now you are saying that the curve is created, right? Uh, means I mean surf surface is created, right? Now uh, in case if you wanna reverse, then you can just reverse it. Uh, means I mean second chain, right? Okay. Look, uh, you can reverse the chain, but it is really weird. Means you can you can try, right? Okay. One more thing that I want to talk is that you can change the position of this surface, right? like this one um, means by clicking over at any points you can just change the location of the surface you can drag it okay then click okay you have to create a new name id 
and from there you can just select cell because it's a cell and name it as a so okay one more important things that you need to take care is that once you have given the name you have to double click on that ones right just doesn't exist uh, on on your own the one exit only after double clicking right or if you double click on that ones it it will itself be what uh, uh, means my it will it, it will go away I mean if you double click on that ones then it will just go away on its own okay now the surface is defined and the surface is created right now cancel it okay i'm going to show you uh, another options that is glide so before i will show you the glide options i want you i want to translate these points right so in order to translate this one i have to hide this one so i'm going to hide this of them and now i'm going to move or copy it right select all the entities over here and middle click and after middle click okay in what direction you want to translate it just name it okay i'm going to translate it in y direction so in y directions one steps one only one step i'm going to translate it and the distance of 20. okay <clears throat> after um, pressing enter you will be asked uh, how you want to translate right so i'm putting everything same means part will be the same part set there is we have not we have not created any set right we don't want to and we have not upset it so we got this one and click on finish and cancel it okay now uh, we are going to create a glide surface select one chain and middle button and select another chain now we are seeing that surface is created right so if you want to create in another name just go over there and don't forget to double click on this one cancel it so this is how we create the surface using the glide and sweeps sweep method right so how i hope that you enjoyed this one if you want to know more about this one means more about answer and their commands then please subscribe my channel and get much more knowledge about the answer